What's going on guys? Today we will talk about how to get into cybersecurity from scratch and with no prior experience. You see, many of us started in cyber without technical background or prior experience in IT and still made it and built a decent career. Ultimately, breaking into cybersecurity without IT experience is challenging but possible through certifications, hands-on practice and entry-level IT jobs. Okay, so first you have to build a strong IT foundation. Begin with the core concepts of cybersecurity, including an understanding of operating systems, especially Linux and Windows, networking protocols like TCP IP, and the basics of encryption and firewalls. Some important cybersecurity concepts to start learning while you are building your technical skills are risk management, the CIA triad and security controls. I recommend checking out Google IT Support Professional Certificate offered on Coursera platform. This path allows you to build technical IT skills and gives you an introduction to security and defense concepts. Perfect. Now after building foundational skills in IT, it's time now to figure out your options in cybersecurity. Cybersecurity has two main career tracks. First of which is the blue team or as called defensive security. Blue teams protect systems from attacks. An example role in the world of blue teams is the SOC analyst. The other track is the red team, or as called the offensive security. Red teams simulate attacks to find vulnerabilities. An example in the world of red teams is the penetration tester. So you have to choose your path. My recommendation that if you are starting fresh in cyber, then maybe try the blue team path first so that you get to understand how to defend systems from hacking and cyber attacks. Then after building some strong base in defense, you can then think of switching to the red team track. At the end, it's up to you, but that's my advice. All right, the next step is building your own cybersecurity home lab. Home labs are crucial for learning practical skills including networking and security tools like Wireshark and Splunk. Install VirtualBox or VMware to run Kali Linux and Windows systems for testing. You can also set up a virtual network using tools like Cisco Packet Tracer or GNS3. Okay, great. After forming a strong IT foundation, choosing your cybersecurity path and having built your technical home lab, it's time now to get to work. Cybersecurity is a practical field. Employers look for real-world skills, not just theory, therefore a hands-on experience isn't the option you can give up on. Platforms such as Hack the Box, Try Hack Me, Pico CTF, and Over the Wire allow you to gain practical knowledge by solving CTF challenges and accessing vulnerable machines so that you can learn penetration testing and ethical hacking using real-world scenarios. Check out my video in the description on the best cybersecurity platforms to get a complete list. If you are also a fan of online courses, then self-paced online courses can also be a cost-effective way to gain skills. Many platforms, including Springboard, Coursera, and EDX, offer courses that cater to beginners. For example, the Google Cybersecurity Certificate on Coursera platform is a great track to get started in cybersecurity. While it's still gaining track in the corporate world and doesn't have the same way like other certifications such as CompTIA Security Plus, it's still a sought-after path to break into cybersecurity and build the base grounds. After all of that, you still want to expand your knowledge and above all, you want employers and HR to validate your learning. Therefore, the next step is to pursue cybersecurity certifications. Certifications are a great way to validate your knowledge and skills in cybersecurity. Check out the video and blog post in the description for a complete list. CompTIA Security Plus is one of the most recommended entry-level certifications, but there are others such as Certified Ethical Hacker, Certified Information Systems Security Professional, and of course OSCP, which can help you specialize further. I recommend starting with foundational certifications like CompTIA Security Plus and CISA Plus rather than advanced ones like CISSP or OSCP. Let me list some of the certifications that you can pursue when you start your career in cyber. First and foremost is CompTIA Security Plus. 
This is the most commonly recommended certification for entry-level security roles. It covers basic cybersecurity concepts, risk management, and security frameworks. After CompTIA Security Plus, you want to backtrack a bit and think what track in cybersecurity you want to follow. If you want to be a red teamer, then the next logical step is to pursue certifications such as EJPT, OSCP, and Hack the Box CPTS. However, if you are more inclined towards security and blue teaming, then I recommend seeking CompTIA SciSA Plus, Cisco Certified CyberOps Associate, BTL1, or Hack the Box CDSA. When you have gained the experience and the certification track, a more advanced move is to pursue advanced certifications such as CISSP and OSEP. Another method to get into cyber without IT experience, I recommend starting in IT support roles such as help desk or network administration to gain fundamental knowledge. Then you can start looking for night shift roles in security operations centers as they are easier to land for newcomers. Don't forget that practical experience is essential in cybersecurity. Participating in CTF competitions or joining bug bounty programs can provide hands-on experience in real-world scenarios. Many companies also offer internships or volunteer opportunities where you can apply your learning to actual security challenges. Lastly, don't forget that you can always use free resources to learn. There are many free or low-cost resources available online, including blogs, YouTube channels, forums, and open-source tools that can enhance your learning without requiring a large investment. Check out this playlist that contains tutorials for those who are starting out in cybersecurity. And lastly, thank you for watching.